Okay, so what we're going to cover here is setting up the desktop for Office 365, but for Office 2010 rather than Office 2013. So you'll see what I've done here is if I look at all programs under Microsoft Office, I've installed uh, Office 2010, and you'll notice that I've also installed Link 2010 just to keep it consistent. So first thing I need to do is to log into my Office 365 portal as the user who is going to be using this um, workstation um, and then I can then configure that um, for them. So what I need to do is put in their login details and their password and I'm logging into the login.microsoftonline.com so I'll check the box that says keep me signed in just to keep it consistent and uh, don't want to save the password, I uh, put that in incorrectly, so let me try that again. Okay, so um, we can, when we do log in to the site for the user, you'll see that we're taken to their Outlook. Now, to get to the desktop software configuration, what we need to do is go up to the cog in the top right, and then select Office 365 settings from the menu that is exposed there. From this screen we select software, the second option on the left, and that will give us the list of software. Now this is an E3 tenant, so I have access to uh, Office 2013, but normally uh, I probably install that, but in this case what I'm going to do is go down to desktop setup on the left hand side there, and you'll see that I now get the option to set up my desktop to work with Office 365. And this applies for installations of Office 2010 and Office 2007. So if you have Office 2013, there's generally no need to install this software because it has all the modern componentry required. But these older versions of Office um, may not have all the necessary components and updates to uh, connect to Office 365. So in that case, what we need to do is hit the Setup button. And what that will do is that will then launch a program stub here, which we simply go down and run. That will then launch a small program here um, that will then um, allow us to install the desktop software. So I'm pretty, I'm happy with that. I know it's from Microsoft, so I go run, and you'll see that it now runs that uh, in the backup. In the background now will ask me to log in to Office 365 as the same specific user. So I will log in to that user again. And this time, hopefully put in the password correctly and I will log in. Now that will verify that I have a license for Office 365 and now you'll see that it now runs a configuration wizard. That wizard will go out and it will check the current state of the software installed on my workstation and then report back with what needs to be done and give me the options to uh, select the software and the updates to install. So we'll give that a moment to run. Okay, so our scan has come back and let us know that we need to uh, basically configure Outlook, SharePoint and Link You'll also note that we have five important updates that we need to install and again all we need to do to have those automatically installed for us is simply hit continue. We can unselect any of these options if we want but we're happy for everything to be configured so we'll select continue. So then what happens is, is we have to review and accept the service agreement and we accept that and you'll then see that it starts downloading the software. Now in the top right side here if we pull down the uh, more details you'll see that will get an idea of exactly what's happening so it's installed the, the sign-in assistant and it's now downloading uh, the update for Outlook and Social Connector so again this will take a few minutes to run so we'll leave it do it do its business here and we'll come back shortly okay you'll now see that uh, all our steps have been completed we've all got green ticks you'll notice that Microsoft Outlook requires uh, a manual setup so we'll do that in a minute here but now that we're done we just click finish and now let's get into Outlook so if I now uh, run my Outlook so I do a search run Outlook this will launch uh, Outlook 2010 it will uh, pop up the setup wizard so we go next and yes we want to connect it to an exchange account 
and then what we need to do here is just pop in our users detail okay so if I got all the users details correct I simply push uh, the next button and now what will happen is is Outlook will go out to Office 365 and verify that account make sure that it's licensed and then come back uh, and let me know any other details that need to be configured here so as you can see that was a very quick response it has um, already found that email address it has logged into the server um, and it has successfully configured that so I can obviously go in and manually make any configurations or uh, connect to another account but don't want to do that just want to select finish and this will now open my outlook for me and will launch me straight into that user's mailbox and I'll be able to use it as though uh, I have been using it on a desktop for a while here so again take a minute obviously to configure that to download the emails into my inbox but as you can see um, I've already got items here in my deleted items so again that has successfully configured that for me so that's our Outlook up and running so what uh, the wizard has also done is we go into our start menu we go into all programs you'll notice that it has created an Office 365 group um, that group then has a link to the Office 365 portal so this basically will take up, take you directly to the user's uh, con web console and here I can get to for example my Outlook web access I can get to my news feed my OneDrive and obviously I can then navigate directly to my SharePoint team site so again I can get to that by going to sites okay so that's how easy that is to um, that's already been done for me the other thing to have a look at obviously is link so in this case I've used link 2010 so we've uh, connected up to office 365 using link 2010 um, that will then launch you'll see that it has automatically filled in the correct user details for me as part of that wizard it's now signing me in um, to the service that'll take a moment while it does that uh, ask me for a password because obviously it's the first time that I have uh, accessed this service so I just need to uh, put in my password and then it will then log me in to, to that service okay so our, our link here is working we can then send messages and we can contact other people so again nice and easy to get all working so again if you have um, uh, Office 2010 rather than Office 2013 on your desktop uh, what you need to do is log into the portal as the user on the desktop go to the cog in the top right corner there go to Office 365 settings in there you will find an option called software select that and then on the left hand side you'll see desktop setup and again you can just click on that and that will run through the process we've just detailed here importantly remember that the desktop setup is only required for Office 2010 or Office 2007 if you have Office 2013 then you should be good to go without any additional items needing to be set up on the desktop so I hope you got some value out of that video and thank you very much for watching